how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your Intel graphic performance. What are the best settings for your Intel graphic command center and everything that you need to improve the performance of your newly purchased or an old Intel HD graphics. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is updating your Intel HD graphic drivers. And for that, come over to this support website. You'll find a link to this in the description below and install any update that is available. Next step is opening up your Intel graphic software and then clicking on check for updates to see if your software drivers are up to date. If that is available or not, you guys can select the installation mode to clean and the notifications for all upcoming updates. After that, head down to the graphic settings and then for the frame synchronization, I would leave it to application choice. Image sharpening should be turned off. Then for 3D rendering, you're gonna have to set the anisotropic filtering to 2x and the adaptive tessellation should be turned on and the tessellation quality should be set to 50 if that is available because it's the best performing. Then head down to the display settings. Right over here, the scaling mode should be set to display scaling and the scaling method should be set to maintain display scaling. After that, you have to come down for your saturation and you have to ensure that it is a little bit higher than 50 or the default value because it will make your colors look more vibrant. The brightness should be set to basic and the contrast should be set to basic as well. Color depth should be the highest available for your monitor for depth of colors and color format should be set to RGB. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Okay, next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point on your PC and once you're over here, go down to your local disk C, click on that and create name it intel just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done click on close and close system properties next step is the intel hd optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below here you'll find in five simple folders with the most important files that you'll be needing to optimize your intel cpu for that you have to double click and open up the intel cpu priority and right click and click on open this will help you to set up the correct D word value for your processor to improve its overall performance and if you have your internal graphics on your processor high chances are you will be facing performance enhancements with this as well and if you have an intel based graphics on your processor you guys will face performance improvements with this registry right over here as well next one is the windows important tweaks where i have left these four registries which are really important let's start with the first one that will help you to disable unnecessary services running in the background second one will help you to disable background applications on your PC, which will improve the performance of your PC by reducing the number of processes running in the background. Third one is disable power throttling and this is used to optimize the performance of your hardware. Last one is disable transparency to remove some unwanted effects from your PC. Once again, if you find any of that not helpful, you guys can use the revert registries folder to revert them back again. Third folder over here is related to your power plan and for that simply open it up, right click and run this as administrator. This will help you to import a ultimate performance power plan which you can access it right from the second option. Over to that and now you guys will come to a screen like this. Simply select show additional plans and in here you have to select ultimate performance as that will be added into your list. So you've selected that, it will disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware to improve the input and render latency while you're playing your games. Once that is done simply close it let's open up the fourth folder which is process lasso which is a really useful tool simply run the setup file 
file and then open process lasso once you're on the application it should look like this now you guys will see a very complicated interface but don't worry i'm gonna make it simple for you simply click on the main button over here and then check on pro balance enabled then check on performance mode enabled head over to the options tab then click on cpu then click on cpu priorities for the priority class, you wanna have to keep it high and once that is done, click on OK. Once that is done, you guys can see all the processes running on your PC right over here. Now let us just say that you have a game opened, for example Valorant or Fortnite. Let's just say that this is the exe file of that game, which you'll have it when it's running on the PC. What you guys have to do is right click on that, head over to CPU Priority, Current and then keep it high. For the affinity, you wanna have to ensure that all of the CPU cores are selected. Then head over to the boost section and then for current, make sure that this is set to on. Once that is done, you guys are now currently using the best priorities possible for your games. I would recommend you guys to use this simple tool every single time you open up your game. And last folder over here is the batch files in which I have left these three useful command prompt files. The first one will help you to disable memory compression which is a very useless service running in the background consuming your CPU and RAM resources. What you guys have to do is simply right click in on it as administrator and it will help you to run a command on your PowerShell which will help you to disable that service. Next one is disable unnecessary service which reduces a chain of services on your PC. You guys can check every service is being disabled over here but don't worry it won't affect your PC negatively. And in case of any emergency, we have already created our restore point. Third tool over here is the useful tweaks. If you edit it in Notepad, it applies BCD tweaks, disable power saving features on USB and Ethernet, and run some NetSH commands to reset your network connection and give you a fresh start. Other than that, it also has a few services right over here to disable. And once all of that is done, your PC will be ready with the best performance possible when you're playing your games. You guys can simply close the FPS back, restart your PC once and check your game performance. So guys, that was it for this guide. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I believe in you all and we have also launched channel memberships. If you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership to support me. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.